Imagine a world where computers can solve problems in seconds. Problems that would take today's fastest supercomputers thousands of years to crack. Sounds like a science fiction, right? Well, thanks to quantum computing, we are getting closer to that reality. And at the heart of this revolution is Microsoft's Majorana chip. But what exactly is Majorana? Why is it so important and how does it change the future of computing? Let's break it down. Microsoft's Majorana chip is groundbreaking development in quantum computing, designed to create more stable, reliable and scalable quantum computers. But to fully understand its importance, we need to break it down into three key aspects. The science behind Majorana particles. How Majorana particles improve quantum computing. Microsoft's unique approach with Majorana qubits. Let's dive into each of these. At first, let's understand the science behind Majorana particles. The name Majorana comes from an Italian physicist, Ettore Majorana, who predicted the existence of Majorana fermions back in 1937. These are unique subatomic particles that are their own antiparticles. This means that if two Majorana particles meet, they cancel each other out. But why does this actually matter? In classical physics, every particle has an opposite, that is an antiparticle. For example, the electron has a positron. So when they collide, they annihilate each other. But Majorana fermions are special. They are both the particle and the antiparticle at the same time, making them behave differently from anything else we have discovered in nature. For decades, Majorana fermions were just a theory. However, in 2012, scientists of Delft University of Technology in the Netherlands along with Microsoft provided the first experimental evidence of their existence in certain quantum materials. Microsoft then spent over a decade refining this research, leading to the creation of the Majorana-based quantum chip. Now let's talk about how Majorana particles improve quantum computing. Quantum computers operate using qubits, the quantum version of classical bits. Traditional qubits like superconducting qubits used by Google and IBM are highly sensitive to their environment. Even the smallest disturbance like a tiny temperature fluctuation can cause them to lose information. And this is called quantum decoherence. Majorana qubits, however, solve this issue by using a principle called topological protection. Here's how they did it. Majorana particles naturally resist external noise and interference. Information stored in Majorana-based qubits is spread out across multiple locations, making it much harder to corrupt. This results in lower error rates and more stable quantum system, which is crucial for scaling up quantum computers. Think of it like this. Imagine writing an important message to a single piece of paper. If that paper gets destroyed, the message is lost forever. But if you spread the message across multiple papers, losing one doesn't erase the whole thing. And this is how Majorana qubits protect quantum information. Now let's talk about Microsoft's unique approach with Majorana qubits. While other companies like Google, IBM and Intel are building quantum computers using superconducting qubits, Microsoft took a different path. Their research team developed topological qubits based on Majorana fermions. And this approach is groundbreaking for several reasons. First of all, it gives more stability. Unlike superconducting qubits, which need complex error correction, Majorana qubits naturally protect themselves from errors. It provides better scalability. Traditional qubits require more enormous amounts of hardware to correct errors. But Majorana qubits reduce this need, making it easier to scale up quantum computers. It also provides higher efficiency. Microsoft believes that using Majorana qubits will allow them to build a quantum computer with far fewer qubits than other methods. What came before Majorana? Before Majorana, the quantum computing world was mostly focused on superconducting qubits. Companies like IBM, Google and Intel have been developing these for years. Google's SkyMore processor made headlines in 2019 when it claimed quantum supremacy, solving a problem that would take a supercomputer thousands of years in just 200 seconds. IBM has also made significant process, building quantum computers with over 1000 qubits. 
but despite these achievements quantum computers remained unstable and error prone and microsoft's neuron equibits aim to fix this making quantum computing more practical for real world application Microsoft Neurana is a game changer. It's not just another quantum chip, it's a very new way of thinking about quantum computing. By using topological qubits, Microsoft is paving the way for more stable, reliable and scalable quantum future. So what do you think? Will quantum computers change the world as we know it? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you really like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Simply Learn for more tech insights. See you in the next one.